-hmm. For your information, Stan. Mm. Yes. <laughs> I don't spend my days daydreaming about being a mother. And I don't plan on converting any man, including Patrick, into daddy material. Ah, see, but you can't deny you got all squishy today when you held that baby. Yeah, I did. Because I love babies. I love holding them. I love smelling them. I love that we count their lives in days instead of years. Um. And yes, I always thought that I would be a mother someday. But then I found out that I was HIV positive and I was heartbroken because someday became never. But things have changed. And now I can think about it again in the abstract someday. So for now, everyone can relax. Look, I like kids. I see a man with a kid and I have admiration for him, but I, I don't get the urge. I like my life. I like my freedom. I don't need a child to feel fulfilled. A kid deserves a father who is willing to sacrifice. And hey, maybe, maybe I'm too selfish. Or maybe I'm too much of a kid myself. <laughs> well, the good news is Robin doesn't need you to have a child. Yes. <laughs> Right? Thank you very right. much. Thanks to the miracles of my profession, Robin can choose to become a mother all on her own. That's right. But um, I'm going to tell you something right now. A mother raising a child on her own, it's no picnic. And not one of you. I don't care what you say. You can't tell me anything different. <laughs> what, nobody else here raised but a single mom? Well, not exactly. I mean, my dad was a presence for a while. My mom was around in the beginning. But basically, I was raised by my Uncle Mac who actually never had any children of his own. But he was born to be a father. <laughs> Uncle Mac. the best. Uncle Mac. Uncle <laughs> Mac. <laughs> mm. Mm. I had both parents. Mm. Me too. Yep. <laughs> so did I, but my father's priority was his work. Oh, boy. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Nope, <laughs> hey, Carmen, what about you? Were you raised with a daddy? I had five dads. <laughs> oh, wow. My biological dad was in the Marines, and then my stepdads were a uh, cop, army medic, uh, gas station attendant, and uh, this guy we used to go visit out in Pennyville. Oh, <laughs> my mom loved a, a man in uniform, man. Oh, oh, wow. That is just way too much information. <laughs> explains so much. <laughs> oh. What was it like being raised by Epiphany? <sighs> yeah. Yes. Uh, um, well, look, I love my mama. <laughs> I have infinite <laughs> love and respect for her. I know it doesn't come off that way always, but, but when I look back, there's a lot of places in my childhood where, you know, I know that the presence of a father would have made a huge difference. And, you know, it's just, uh, it's just not as easy as you guys are making it sound. You know, it's just not. But, you know, like Kelly said, TMI. So wait, <laughs> hold on. If a woman isn't in a relationship, or if she's with a man like Patrick who doesn't want children, she should just give up the idea of ever being a mother? Abandon it. That is patently unfair. And, and I think that you ought to be a little bit more respectful of everything your mother sacrificed. More respect? Yes. You know what, if I listened to every single little thing that my mother wanted me to do, I'd be dating you. You didn't tell him? Tell me what? Your mom has been uh, pushing Lane to date you, and she <laughs> has graciously sidestepped the issue. <laughs> really? OK, so now I'm not good enough for you to date. Uh, oh, Robin? What's up with that? You always do that. What, what, what did I What did I do? You people, you male people. It's true. You say that you don't want something, and then the moment a woman agrees, you turn around and change your mind. It doesn't matter if it's <laughs> dating lady, finding an apartment, or picking out furniture. Men are contrarians by nature. <laughs> High five. Yes. That. 
Contrarian. Contrarian. <laughs> to men. To men. <sighs> Contrarians. Every one of us who don't know what they want until women tell us. <laughs> and to women. Perfect. Good. Consistent. <laughs> Lovely, laid-back creatures. Yes. We would be lost without you. Don't forget, very smart and very sexy. Yes. Here, here. Amen. What's the matter? Hmm. I see you didn't drink to our toast. No, was, is, is there a problem? I was just remembering the last time you made me this crazy. I came to Jake's for solace then too. You see, it's always my fault. <laughs> It was during the commitment crisis time. I knew beyond a shadow of a doubt that I didn't tie down to one woman. And sweet little Miss Scorpio changed my mind with that. Damn, how could you have been so wrong? <laughs> I was wrong about that, but it stops there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not hey, wrong. Hey, you can tell me wrong. Wait, wait, no. Whoa, 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 Miss Robin, I am going to send you guys out to hail a cab so that you can continue this delightful conversation at home. You mean Patrick's home. I'm just an occasional visitor. It's not by my choice. Come on. Beat it. Good night. Good night, Good night you guys. Good night. Yep. Thank you for the idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank <sighs> you so cute together. Yeah. Too bad it can't last. Okay. Are you kidding me? You're fantastic. Because you know I don't. I don't want to hurt your feelings. The only thing that hurt me is you didn't shut up soon enough and take me home. You can try and make up for it now. Mm, I need to get a condom. <laughs> Why? Because God forbid I might get pregnant? <laughs>